Прямо 20 лет на сидящей работе. Отлично. Не пропадешь, пацан. Welcome everyone. Do you remember the Sputnik movie? I know everyone was asking about the ending and even I was wondering about the ending myself. Well, in this video, <laughs> I'm gonna give you an answer. And I had to look back over it because it was so obvious the first time around, but a lot of us missed it. So throughout the whole movie, we've noticed that the astronaut, the cosmonaut, after his son, having been mentioned a few times, is being shown in an orphanage. Obviously the kid is abandoned and the father abandoned him. So even though he's this big hero, the big thing was that he left his son in an orphanage to fend for himself. But at the end of the movie, our main character, Tanya, swears that she will take care of his boy and she will go and adopt him, or at least she makes the decision to do so. I, I think they had that conversation. But she cared a lot about him and she cared a lot about people and that's what she promised. So at the end of the movie, we see her going to meet the little boy. Notice how in the movie, this little boy has been in a wheelchair and he's kind of like a problem child, probably because he's very angry about his situation. So we identify with the little boy and it's actually really sweet in the end when we see him getting rescued or getting adopted. There's only one small problem though at the end of this movie that just does not fit. He's walking out of the orphanage when he's in a wheelchair and he's walking really well. Notice this little boy has been in a wheelchair for this entire time. And then at the end of the movie, right when he's walking out to be adopted, he says, first of all, my name is Tanya which really freaking threw me. And the way that they edited it, it's like, wait a minute, okay, wait, this, it's actually a little girl. The little girl's not named Leosha, the little girl's actually named Tanya, which is the same name as the main character. What in the frick, in the frickity frickity fru is going on? Because I was just freaking confused. And then I was like, wait a minute, I feel really hella stupid right now. The child at the end of the movie that we see walking out is Tanya. That's not the little boy, that's actually Tanya when she was little. She had been in an orphanage as well. That's why when we see the kid walk out and the person is like, oh, you'll be okay, little fella. Little kid is like, no, um, I'm not a boy, by the way. My name is Tanya. And the main character is Tanya. And if you also remember, this makes a lot of sense because we see that this little kid has problems walking, has been in a wheelchair for all of his or her childhood. And earlier on in the movie, you notice that Tanya has a scar on her spine, my brothers and sisters, meaning she had an operation on her spine. And usually people that have an operation on their spine like that, it had to do with either paralysis or some kind of major spinal injury. So after putting this together, I was like, wait a minute, they made it a point to show that she had a scar on her her back. She had that big keloid scar. And I was like, why are they showing that? Is that going to be important? And then they never bring it up in the rest of the movie. And I'm like, oh, wait, the ending. It all makes sense. She, <laughs> She's the little kid that we've been seeing this entire time. Wow, I feel so freaking stupid. <laughs> but it's really interesting to go back and see that because I thought I was going nuts. I'm like, wait a minute, you know, but that is the answer to the question, you guys. For those of you who are wondering, that's why we saw that little kid say that her name was Tanya. What we were in fact seeing the entire time, which makes total sense, was a flashback of Tanya when she was a child and when she had that condition. After all, the movie is mostly about her anyway. She in fact is the main character. So I hope that really solves solve the theory because <laughs> I know I was confused and a lot of people were confused too and people in the comments were like can you make a video on this and I'm like yeah yeah let me look back that I gotta look it over because I was confused too and I'm like really I hate it when you look back over movies and, you, and it's so obvious and you look back over you're like why did I not why did I not see that the first time but hey that's what we're all for somebody would have called it out eventually anyways is there anything else that you guys have questions for for the movie things that you probably were thinking watching it other than what's already been answered or things that you noticed that I probably didn't catch. I would love to hear what you guys 
um, what you guys have to say. I'd like to talk about it in future videos because this actually was a really nice movie. Aside from Lovecraft Country, oh my god, wait a minute, <gasps> Lovecraft Country. I just realized that there's another episode supposed to come out today, and I almost totally forgot, and uh, you guys reminded me, so thank you for that. But anyways, yeah, leave your comments and suggestions below, and we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.